My name is Dave with JCAC Implement. Today we're going to talk about APM or Automatic Productivity Manager, also known as D Diesel Saver. Um, this is a feature that's on any 2011 or newer Tier 4 Magnum or Steiger tractor. It's an option that we sometimes fail to talk about, but there's a lot of benefit for you as an operator. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in, show how to set it, give you a couple pointers, and then explain a little more on how you would be able to use this feature in the field. So with APM, um, this is specific to power shift tractors. What it's going to do is you're going to tell the tractor a speed that you would like to go and it will run your tractor in the gear and RPM that it needs to run in. So it's going to turn your throttle lever into mo more of a propulsionary lever. So whatever speed that you program, all the way forward will be that speed, all the way back will be zero miles an hour. And it will run your RPMs and gear accordingly where it needs to run. So one of the first pointers, uh, first thing I like to check is the sensitivity. So how, how sensitive will the tractor react to changing field conditions? So on your Pro 700, we're going to go into Toolbox, to Tractor, to Driveline, and APM Sensitivity. So right now it's at 100%. I usually like to start around 70%. Depending on field conditions, you may want to go a little more or less reactive, but 70% is usually a pretty good number. So we'll set that, and then you can go back to your regular run screen. So how to set APM. Over on the right-hand side on your armrest, you've got two orange buttons. You've got a field mode and a road mode. So the top orange button here that looks like a wagon, that's your road mode. Today we're going to specifically talk about field mode, which is the plow button. So the first thing we need to do is set a target speed. Depending if you have a Tier 4A or a Tier 4B tractor, this will vary a little bit. Um, on the Tier 4A tractors, you'll need to physically drive the tractor to the speed that you want to run in the field, press and hold the plow button, and then on the A post it'll, it'll show you your target speed that you've set. On a Tier 4B tractor, you have this little orange roller, so you can adjust that on the go one-tenth of a mile an hour at a time, so you don't have to initially program your target speed you can just adjust it right on the go so we're gonna we're gonna show you how to set that right now as if this were an earlier model and then we'll show you how how to adjust if you happen to have the roller so we're gonna set a target speed of six mile an hour we're gonna be doing tillage so you'll just run it normal operation um, I'm watching on the a post here right now uh, my speed of I'll get it to six mile an hour, six one, six two, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna press and hold the plow button. It will then show me on the A post my target field speed is 6.1 mile an hour. So right now, I, all I've done is set my speed. So whenever I go to turn this APM mode on, 6.1 is my target speed my throttle lever becomes that propulsionary lever where all the way forward is 6.1 and all the way back is zero miles an hour. Okay, so now I've got my target speed set at 6.1 miles an hour, my APM is on, and I'm gonna start to operate in the field. So remember now, your throttle lever becomes all the way forward is 6.1, all the way back is gonna be zero. So it will do the shifting in the RPMs where it wants to run. You don't need to be shifting gears or anything. You'll feel the tractor do the shifting on its own. You'll see over on the A post, my target speed is 6.1. And as I push this lever ahead, all the way forward is gonna go to 6.1. So the tractor's doing the shifting and it's gonna run the RPMs where it wants to. So it'll get up to the gear where it needs to be and then you'll see the RPMs drop, and it's telling me that, hey, this tractor wants to run at 
1500 to 1800 RPMs and that's where that's where it's going to run so as you're going through the field say doing tillage and you hit a hard spot um, the tractor will then sense to say hey I need to drop a gear um, or I need to go up a gear whatever your conditions may be and when you get to the end you'll just simply pull it back you can pull it all the way back to the stop and it'll stop the tractor okay so I mentioned on a tier 4b tractor the later models um, you have this orange roller on your throttle lever um, you can adjust the max speed right on the go here so as I roll that dial it will adjust at one tenth of a mile an hour at a time so conditions are good I want to speed that up um, you don't have to reprogram each time you want to change the speed on the earlier models you would need to drive your speed reset it again if it's not where you want it to be so I specifically talked about field mode you can also do the same thing in road mode instead of using the plow button you're going to use the wagon button so you can set your road speed at say 24 mile an hour and all the way forward is going to be 24 mile an hour all the way back is going to be zero so on these newer tractors they do not operate like like an older tractor like a tier 3 or previous so um, one of the one of the other comments I get is while well, I'm running at at 2100 RPMs I hit a hard spot in the field and it pulls me all the way down to 1800 RPMs it feels like I'm gonna kill the tractor the power is not there actually the power band is quite a bit less so that is where the tractor wants to run it's a different feel it's more of a lugging power but I think as you play with the APM let the tractor do its thing um, you'll learn that it's a different type of operation um, as what your previous tractor maybe had. Um, the other benefit is not, not running the high RPMs and wanting to be in the right range or the right gear of the transmission, um, you're going to find fuel savings. So um, depending how the operator has been running it, we've been able to show say two to four gallons an hour um, fuel savings um, just to get that tractor where it needs to be. Um, I like to pull up on the run screen, um, slip, power, uh, fuel, fuel usage per hour, and those are things that you can watch. I challenge you to run the tractor like you normally do, and then try APM and watch those settings and, and really fine tune and run the tractor where it wants to be. If you have any questions on APM or any other setting on the tractor, please don't hesitate to call any of us at Jaycox Implement, we'd be happy to show you. Um, we've got some handouts for in the cab. Um, we can pretty easily even run out and show you um, how to operate this um, if you've got questions. So um, thanks for your time, and uh, we hope you'll utilize this on your tractor.